Hi, Sam. It's a school day. Ooh. Sam and Charlotte have been in Jamaica for two days and haven't yet been out alone. Today, the Roses are sending them to school. Are you finished? No, not yet. Uniforms are obligatory, as is pride in your appearance. Well, it ain't gonna be good because you made me rush it. Every few seconds, it's uh, do the job faster, do the job faster. Sam, are you through? Um, should I iron the trousers as yes, well? Yes, you have to iron the trousers. The seams must be in place, very straight. How do you think of green? Green! <laughs> <laughs> Sam is still smarting from his run-in with Sharon. He now has a new strategy for getting through the week. I just want out and uh, actually trying to be a unique uh, individual in uh, this country is um, not allowed. So you need to just blend in with absolutely everything else and uh, shut the hell up, basically, if you want to actually get by, if you actually try to be something that's unique in this country. Uh, you basically are screwed. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, are you doing really yeah. funny? I know I look really funny, but for fuck's sake, look at you. You look just as dumb as I do. You're taking your earrings out. Got my earrings in my pocket, so the minute I'm out of there, I'm sticking them back in. In Jamaica, a state education is seen as a privilege rather than a right. For Sharon, underachievement is not an option. In Jamaica, you go to school to get an education, to be a professional person, have a job. Education is, is a key to success. Charlotte and Sam are joining 14-year-old Davia at Denby High. It's the local secondary school and Principal Joan Wint runs a tight ship. This school has a reputation for being a strict school and a disciplined school and also a successful school. There are great things that can happen to you, that can happen to you, and that's what Denby is all about. So we have rules, and we have regulations, and the students um, have to abide by them, or else there are punitive measures. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. The teen's first task is to write a poem and an essay beginning with the line, Jamaica is... The essay is to test their level of articulacy, expression and concentration. While Sam knuckles down, within minutes, Charlotte's attracting the attention of the teachers. No, but it is. I'm sitting here in silence for two hours. I'm not doing it in dogs. Unprecedented. We've never had a child who's so openly defined. It's not just the way it is done here. If you, it's an examination, you have to sit and write and do some work. And if you're not doing it, then you have to go to the principal's office. Mm, let's go then. Mm, I need to get my bag. Take your bag. Because here that you are not writing the exams, yeah. you don't have a choice. Yeah, but I'm just doing It doesn't matter what you like or what you don't like, is what is required of you. Why? You can't force me Listen to do to me. it. Listen to me, I cannot force you to put your pen to paper. Exactly. But I'm so why are you, you punishing me for it? It's not punishing. Is it something that is outside of your competence to do? I don't understand that. Is it that you are un unable to do the exercise? I'm not, no, I'm not stupid. I just don't want right, to exactly. do it. Exactly. So then, so you are just being defiant. Please, let's talk in my office. You either decide to do it, or at the end of school, you will sit and do a detention in which you will write the exam. Take your hand from your hips, please. Thank you. This is ridiculous. It may be ridiculous, but that's required of you. It really is. It does not matter what you think. So decide. It's a choice. I'll do it, but I ain't writing notes. I'm not going to write. I'm, I'm well, whatever you write, but you go to the exam room and you do it. She's going back to the room and she's going to write the exam. Okay. I don't know if I've ever had in my 36 years anybody saying to me, well, you can't make me do it. I don't think I've ever had that. I don't think I've had that experience. Charlotte eventually commits her views on Jamaica to paper.
and finds that once she starts, she can't stop. I wrote well loads actually. Didn't write what was meant to write, I just wrote about how I felt and I feel better now for running all down. <laughs> The British teens are something of a novelty, and Sam's enjoying being the centre of attention. Do you have a girlfriend? Yeah, I do. She's 15. And you're older, are you? I'm 17. <laughs> uh, it's all right, I'm getting on with the uh, people here. Um, I'm the uh, only white guy in this school, so I've had a lot of people sort of like uh, looking at me. And um, because I'm wearing this hat, everyone thinks I'm a rascal. I mean, when I'm back in England, I'm hardly the most popular person in the world. I mean, I've got plenty of mates and I've got all my own mates, but uh, if I started a new school back in England, I wouldn't have all these people crowding around me, asking me all sorts of different things. The teens have only been at the school a few hours and there's a problem. Sharon has been called back in by the principal. The essay that Charlotte wrote earlier is a direct challenge to everything Principal Mrs. Wint stands for. Her language. He doesn't know why children are respectful. Yeah, yeah, yeah respectful my ass. The people back home don't take no shit. So I don't see why the children should. Today Sam looks like a total dick. And um, again she's pissed off and she's not taking no shit. This whole thing to my mind is disrespectful. The fact that what she wrote was unacceptable, and you know the school does not put up with it. Could you ask Charlotte to come in? Thank you. Have a seat, Charlotte. Mm. Um, how do you express annoyance? Do you think that annoyance should be expressed in appropriate ways? Not in appropriate ways. In appropriate ways. Was your annoyance expressed in an appropriate way? No, miss. Why did you choose to use inappropriate language? Because I was annoyed, really. People who use inappropriate language, expletives, filthy words, what does that tell about that person? That they're not a very nice person, really. Who does it reflect on worse? Your home or yourself? Myself. Yourself. Do you hate yourself? No. No. So why do you want to do yourself something that is negative? You shouldn't, eh? No. It's about choosing. You know what's right, you know what's wrong. And in your annoyance, you thought of hurting somebody else. But in the end, it was your reputation that got hurt. You see? So I want you to think and be more responsible as you make your choices. I think you deserve to apologize to Mrs. Wilkes. Sorry. No, 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 no. Come on, a good apology. You address her. I'm sorry for what I did, it was wrong. You address her, Mrs. Wilkes. Mrs. Wilkes, I'm sorry for what I did. It was wrong and I shouldn't have done it. And it was unfair to the other like, pupils around me who could hear me and I shouldn't have done it. You should learn something about yourself that when you become fearful, you become easily angry. Yeah. So you know that's something that you have to work on. Mm -hmm. You know? At my school, if you've done something wrong, they'll just say, like, I want detention. No one would really talk to you about it. It'll probably happen again. But he'll, like, talk to you and make you realise what you've done. Angry, disappointed. Every day is going to be like this. It will not happen. It will not happen. 